So I'm doing a hair update because um, we haven't talked about natural hair in a while. A lot of the supplements that I'm taking also benefit your hair. So it's not just all about skin health and trying to watch out for acne and things like that. I think if you just wanted to know like right off the bat, which supplement is the most beneficial for quick hair growth, um, it's definitely the MSM, but MSM is probably one of the more riskier supplements that I am taking. And it's risky in that I have not had this problem, but I know a lot of viewers who have commented on my video saying that like um, it threw off their period or it gave them really bad headaches. Um, headaches is something that if you're not drinking enough water, you'll definitely like, it's not just a headache, sometimes it'll be like a whole migraine. Um, so that's a pretty popular side effect. So you really have to watch your water intake. Also, you cannot skip days for some people. Um, cause I know other people, they'll take MSM every other day or they'll go two weeks on MSM and then a couple weeks off, they'll give their body some breaks. I don't give my body breaks. I just take it all the time because when I run out, my hormonal acne starts to, um, flare up. <laughs> and so I only miss maybe two, three days of MSM while I was waiting on my other container of the MSM flakes to arrive to my house and basically my skin just like wasn't having it. So you'll notice um, for some people, you know, missing a day or two, you'll get breakouts and um, they're under the skin type breakouts. They are very sore and uh, yeah, but MSM for hair, it does wonders. So. I've been taking it internally, obviously, but I've also seen that people use it topically. And one of my my favorite oils has MSM in it as well. And so I was thinking, okay, so if oils can have MSM, can I just like dissolve some MSM in like a warm water? And like, cause if you have your hair, you know, natural, usually you have to refresh with water. So it's like, I could be putting MSM topically on my hair every single day. Cause obviously I don't use oils on my hair every single day. And um, I looked it up and there were some YouTubers who have been doing it and who recommend it. So I'm about to start that. I'll let you guys know if I see any difference in the strength of my hair. Some of the benefits that I noticed with MSM is that obviously it makes your hair grow longer, but also it helps with shedding. So if you notice that you, your hair just like uh, is weak, or it's kind of coarse or brittle, it'll help not only strengthen your hair, but um, a lot of people have noticed that it'll kind of change the texture of your hair. So it doesn't just go as far as making it stronger. You, the new hair that does grow in while you're using MSM will be a different texture than the hair that you naturally have. Um, here's a picture of me as a kid. And so you can basically see the texture of my natural hair. So now as an adult, um, my texture is like much different. It's so much softer. And I definitely think a part of that is because of the, um, the stuff that I'm taking internally. So I had some issues growing my hair. I decided to uh, basically grow it out by using protective styling, which my, my choice of protective styling is wigs. Um, so in October of 2018, I got my first wig. And so um, right about now, like I'm two, two years and five months of growing my hair out by using, you know, protective styling. And so I'm really, really happy because like I started off at this, um, like this bleached hair and it was pretty short and, um, yeah, <laughs> it wasn't very healthy. So yeah, I stopped that. I started wearing wigs and um, they've really, really, really helped my hair. So underneath the wigs, I'll use my favorite oil, which I've, I've told you guys about this, Jamaican castor oil. Um, it does have garlic oil in it. It has sulfur in it, which sul sulfur is MSM, and among other things. But um, the smell isn't the best. so. It works amazingly. I've been using it for years. Um, by years, I just mean for the two and a half years that I've been growing up my hair. Um, and it's so cool because like I see like people in other cultures like raving about castor oil too. I think it's a pretty popular hair oil for um, people in India as well, which you know people in India usually have very strong, um, healthy hair. So um, using castor oil and massaging your scalp with it is really really helpful though i don't think they use it as a leave-in they just basically oil up their hair let it sit for a couple hours and then rinse and carry on um but when i use it i use it as you know a leave-in and 
I'll put it on my scalp. Once my hair dries, my hair's wet right now, but once it dries, I'll put it on my scalp, massage it in. But as I was telling you guys, the smell is kind of awful. <laughs> so get a peppermint oil, just a natural peppermint oil, um, essential oil, or get a tea tree oil and add it to that. And it will really, really, really help with the scent because it does have garlic oil in it. Garlic oil is garlic oil is like really popular for people with like alopecia or people who whose hair is like starting to bald in certain spots and helping them to um basically re-stimulate the hair to grow so it's very you know it, it's helpful um, but you know it's just one of those things where the things that actually work are not popular because they're usually you know are drawbacks to them so in this case this oil does not smell good at all and so obviously people are going to use other things on the market that do smell good but seeing as the majority of people no matter what their race is the majority of people don't have the healthiest of hair especially if you look in the u.s like um it's so funny like you used to only see um places for like hair extensions or wigs or weaves in like black communities now um you have even the white hairdressers and white barber shops like offering different like extensions and things like it's like no one can keep their hair healthy no one can grow out their hair and um a lot of just the stuff that's on the market of what we're supposed to be buying the shampoo the conditioner the products like they're not really the best for growing out your own thick healthy hair i like how it's places in other countries where they might not have as much as we do available here but yet they have like healthier hair <laughs> and then we're buying their hair. I section off my hair when I'm washing it. So I'll do the left hand side first and then I'll wash the right hand side. So I let down one side um, to get like a quick video of it so you guys could see. Um, I have not straightened my hair in a very, very long time. <laughs> I can't remember the last time, but I do pull on my strands um, every now and then when it's curly and I try to pull it out and just see how long I can pull it down. And so I know for sure it's pretty close to my belly button. Um, I think the last time I measured it again, I measured it while it was curly and I just like kind of pulled the hair taut and um, used a one of those tape measure things that like you usually like, put on around your waist and I think it said my hair is like 21 and a half inches so I'm trying to get to like 22 23 so we'll see if I can hit that um by summer that would be amazing so I'm really hoping that this MSM spray that I'm going to be using routinely throughout the week I'm really hoping that that will help and then obviously massaging my scalp with that that amazing castor oil it smells but if you add smell good essential oils to it you can um, definitely mask over it but yeah using it without the oils I just figured out like this sounds so dumb I've been using it for like two and a half years and I just figured out that like just add some essential oils like to mask the scent usually I would just I would kind of use it sparingly like I wouldn't use it as often as I wanted to because the smell was just kind of like ugh but now it's like I'm gonna use it way more often and not just on wash day I'll use it throughout the week so I can get the most of it and not have to worry about you know the garlicky sulfury smell so very excited about that still using the rice water highly 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 recommend you guys make some rice water for yourself it's so cheap it's so easy this is another one of those hair hacks that other cultures who you know the women grow you know pretty healthy hair thick hair they use this hack and so um there's tons of videos on youtube about how to make your own rice water you can look at one of those or if you want me to show you how i make mine i will show you though just know that i do the the quick method um, my method's kind of like lazy so that's why i haven't like really made it because it's just like there's better videos on youtube about it but um you know obviously it works so i'm very happy about that and as far as the rice water i'm I don't just use it as a rinse, I use it as a leave-in and so if I'm about to like put on my wig, so the first year I used a wig from October 2018 to, you know, October 2019, um, I was just gluing my wigs. So for a whole year I was gluing my wigs on and so I would, the wig would only come off maybe after like four weeks. So once the glue started getting loose and I could take the wig off, then that's when I would wash my hair. So I was only washing my hair once a month. And so I would make a spray bottle with the rice water, spray that all over my braids, cornrow my hair, and then put my wig back on and, you know, glue it to my scalp. And then obviously in four weeks when the wig, you know, was finally ready to come off, I would, you know, wash, rinse, repeat. 
And so I did that for a year. And then from 2019 to 2020, I started using wigs that I could take off easily. So I started ordering wigs from a different company and I would not, um, it has like the real looking scalp, like the scalp that you can't tell is a scalp. Like you don't have to glue it down, but it looks like your scalp. So I used that and then I could take my wig off at night so that I could get to my scalp and I could wash my hair more often without, um, yeah, having to use glue. So when I was doing that, I wasn't using the rice water as often, but um, the moral of my story is just the rice water as a leave-in, it works as a great leave-in. And so I highly recommend if you don't wanna just make up the rice water, rinse your hair and then you know, shampoo and condition it, um, go ahead and use it as a leave-in and put it in a spray bottle. Add um, the two best essential oils to use with um, the rice water to help with the scent is, well, first, when you're boiling it, put in either, well, not when you're boiling it, but when you're letting it ferment, eat, put in orange peel or like a grapefruit peel. That will help a lot. But also add in the peppermint essential oil and the tea tree oil, and those will help so much with the scent. And also they like stimulate hair growth so it's like a win-win but if you add that to the spray you'll be able to spray it on your hair as a leave-in and not smell to high heaven and you know you you can use it in your everyday daily life is what i'm trying to get at so i highly highly recommend that and there's tons of information on basically all of those if you're trying to grow out your hair the quickest way to do it is to just leave your hair alone so that would be nothing that causes too much tension on your hair like i wouldn't say like oh do like micro braids or anything like really tiny um but you know just protective styles or you know put a wig over it i would not do weave because that does add too much tension to it for some reason the wigs are more protective i don't know how but they just are um I would not do clip-in extensions. I would not do tape-in extensions. Um, this is just from my personal experience. My hair did not grow as quickly with those. I still had a lot of breakage. So if you do want to you know, wear your hair like you like to wear it, um, but also protect your hair, I would just, I highly recommend wigs. And then obviously if you just wanna wear your hair natural, then there's tons of protective styles. Um, like, you know, braid out or be on two knots or, you know, just letting your curls be. If you guys have any questions, just let me know and I'll see you in my next video.